Man, look, I just needed to wait on the ink to dry because the thing that's been different here in Shane Taylor Promotions that I will say um, is Shane and I have been friends forever. But the thing with Shane is, is like when I signed on with Shane Taylor Promotions, I, like, I had already been dropping bodies left and right. And I was like, why is this not manifesting the way that I want it to? I've racked up stats. I've padded my stats in the Indies. What the what the hell, man? You know, and it was, some of it is just like, are you dropping bodies where they need to be dropped while the right people are watching? And so yep. that's what Shane Taylor Promotions offered me. And not only is Shane at the facilities preparing me, helping me prepare, not only is he making sure the management and promotion team making sure that my bouts and the bouts that he and I have together are promoted to the highest of their ability. Not only are we chopping it up on the phone, not, but even at the point when it's time to go into battle, guess what Shane's doing? He's lacing his boots to go into battle with you. And that's the thing you, that's the thing in wrestling is so crazy is you really don't know uh, what's going to happen, right? We went into that with Keith as the adversary, you know, Keith was the op going into the match, you know? Uh, it was really weird uh, for Keith and I because he and I train and, you know, we're at the same uh, camp. He's a part of my MMA team now. Uh, and so uh, needless to say, that made uh, training awkward and uh, holidays were a little awkward. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, a little, uh, just, a, just, just a smidgen, just a little smidgen awkward. Uh, but uh, yeah, just... With the thing with Shane and and Keith, just the, between the three of us, like we've we've all been close, right? And so going into it, it was very adversarial. But you know, we in the middle of the bout, you know, Swerve just kind of leaving them hanging, and like you prepare for it, right? We're like we're like, oh, we got this. We got. I don't want to say we we were treating the dub as a foregone conclusion or anything, but uh, we were kind of like, look, these guys can't coexist. These guys can't coexist. You know, there's no version of Keith that's going to take the low road. So once Swerve tries to take the low road, we got them, right? I didn't think Swerve would just up and leave, right? So when Swerve up and left, the dynamic of the match changed because it was kind of like, I mean, you saw the fight. Like, mm -hmm. there was parts where there was a bit of restraint in Keith and everything Keith did. He wasn't slamming us as hard or he wasn't throwing, the like, you know, he, he could take something off the punch and, it's still going, you're still going to get CTE. No, but, 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 you ain't but, feeling it, feeling it. <laughs> but, 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 yeah, but to his point, it was one of those things where it's like, I, who's the op, right? Like, who's, who's who? And so I think the bout got really muddied. And I think uh, I took my eye off the ball. I won't speak for Shane. I took my eye off the ball. Um, I know there was a lot of conflict with Shane because, you know, for every battle that goes, I always feel like uh, the youngest brother uh, and your two older brothers are always at odds. Like Shane and and Keith, they all, they've always had that 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 need. That, that yeah, it's just and it's weird. And I think for Keith, he it's never intentional. It's just Keith being Keith, right? But I think for Shane, he has this desire to be the best, right? And we all do, right? Like uh, it's, right. at least between the three of us, it's just one of those things where it's like. It's Keith is my brother. Shane's my brother. I try not to let it get adversarial. It's like y'all not the ops. Y'all just kind of, you know. I think when you have a group of friends, yeah, you have a group of friends who are who are efficient and competitive. Our paths are going to cross in an adversarial way at some point. It's not a question of if; it's a question of when. And I think with how we handled it, and then how Swerve handled it afterwards, uh, with uh, you know what he ended up doing on um, on Dynamite. Uh, with Rick Ross and stuff, and then even Rick Ross coming at me on Twitter. I'm like, dog, y'all got it coming, bro. Like, <laughs> mogul affiliates, they got it coming, Ricky bro. Ricky Rose like, is coming for you on Twitter, bro. What about bro, it, man? Bro, that was a trip, bro. I was like, bro, what is my life, bro? What the f like, my first entrance song in pro wrestling, I came out to Rick Ross, bro. <laughs> and now he the ops. What's going on? <laughs> and now he's the ops, bro. What is, what is life?